Our guest right now, an All-American linebacker at The Ohio State University, and we'll get to that, a two-time Pro Bowler for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He has a new podcast called Don't Call It a Comeback and is truly one of the most inspirational people you will ever meet. Ryan Shazier, how are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. You're Listen, you're doing those media rounds. I know you got a hard out. You're everywhere, and we love to see it. But first, let's talk Ohio State. You're a proud alumnus uh, of the Buckeyes. Congrats on making it into the college playoff. A lot of chatter, though, and I'm not a college football gal. A lot of chatter about how they sort of backed in. Tell me why they deserve to be in the top four. Uh, to me, it's crazy <laughs> how people say we backed in. Um, when <laughs> Alabama did it and when Georgia did it, they didn't say they backed in. But, hey, at The Ohio State University, you know, there's always a little bit of hate. The reason I feel like we deserve to be in there is because we lost to the number two team in the country and we were the number three team. And then pretty much everybody else on our schedule, we have beat up on them. And <laughs> we, have a better, uh, we have a better win than anybody else that is after us. Quality so I don't win. Yeah, a big qual a quality win uh, versus Penn State, who only two losses are to the number two team in the country and the number four team in the country. You know uh, Taylor Lewan really well. I know you guys chatted recently. He's on our show tomorrow, and uh, Ohio State might face his Michigan Wolverines in the championship. What's the message you want to send to him? We'll play it on the show tomorrow. Uh, so hey, Taylor was talking a little bit of smack on our podcast, and uh, – we talked before we figured out if Ohio State was going to make it in or not. And uh, all I got to say is how you like that, because uh, I, I definitely think we're going to beat Georgia. I know nobody thinks that, but I think we really have a shot to beat them. We have the team to beat them. And uh, I just I hope they I hope they make it there as well. Uh, I hope they do, too. And uh, I'm wishing you lots of success on your podcast. Don't call it a comeback. You launched in October. What has it been like? What sort of stories are you telling? Uh, let us all know. Uh, so it's, it's been amazing. Uh, amazing experience you know the podcast is through uh, uh it's a a wondery uh original podcast uh, you, you know so it's, it's been a it's been a great me and dave demashek we talk about amazing yeah. comeback stories when it comes to player resurgence to franchises that's uh selling dw dwellers that you know that de that defines all the odds so like we talked about geno smith this year nobody expected geno to be where he's at right now we talked about uh justin verlander we, we talked about a, a lot of different guys Guys and uh, teams, uh, and uh, like we even talked about the, the team up north for Michigan. How we, you know, we went on a, a eight year streak of beating them, and now they got us the last two years. Mm. So uh, we 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 talked about a few different things. I mean, and your comeback is one of the most inspirational achievements ever, and we all watched it collectively and and were with you through it. Uh, so when you talk about your story, what is the biggest single takeaway you want people to have and, and take away from it? So one of the biggest things that I I think from my story that I always talk to people about is just understanding that we can overcome pretty much anything. Uh, to make it to the NFL, most pretty much everybody that's made it had 90% of people telling them that they're not going to make it. Mm. You know, they always tell them that they're 1%. And it's kind of the same thing when it comes to life and just where we wanted to be. You know, Cape, somebody probably told you, hey, you would never be as big as you are when mm -hmm. it came to me. And to me, it's just to tell people, hey, if you really put your mind to it, if you really put the work in, that, you know, even walking is possible. I could talk to you forever. I know you have to go. I'm going to ask you a couple quick questions about your Steelers. So you're talking about nothing's impossible. Put your mind to it. And I'm just thinking Tomlin's probably saying that to his guys in that locker room. And the Steelers are not mathematically eliminated from the playoffs. Is there any doubt that, you know, Mike Tomlin uh, is completely, you know, uh, not going to be able to get this done? Kenny Pickett looks good, too. So the biggest thing for me is – uh, I understand how Coach Tomlin coaches. Mm -hmm. He does a good job of just bringing the best out of his guys. It might not be, you know, how Belichick does it or how, you know, Sean McVay does it, but Coach Tomlin does it the way he does it. And he's had years when they started off bad and still had an 8-8 eight and eight season, you know, or a, a positive season. And to me, I, I made a, a bet with one of my friends, and I was telling him, hey, uh, I bet the Steelers go nine and seven to finish. I mean, uh, oh. like they, they win seven. Yeah, they go nine and seven, so the Steelers finish like they win nine of their. Uh, they're gonna finish with a positive record. So I was like, we're gonna win seven of our next nine games. You know, and we they already won two in won, a row. Yeah, we already won two in a row. And the, the biggest thing is that. Kenny, at the beginning of the year, he didn't really have the chemistry with Deontay. The only chemistry he had was George because they was in the same lineup. And now he's actually get, gaining chemistry with the guys. He's not turning the ball over. Good. And every single week, we constantly see him get better. We constantly see him get better every week. By the time the playoffs come, I, I think he's going to be on, on, uh, on a good level. Uh, they got the Ravens next. Last one for you. This is the first of two Steelers-Ravens. 
Take when so I good. when I say when I say Steelers Ravens, where does your head go, Ryan Chaser? Give me the moment that sort of defines that rivalry for you personally. So the the moment that defines that rivalry for me is uh, it's, it's two moments. So um, my 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 rookie year, we make it to the playoffs and we we played them in the playoffs and. So this is what I got a bad taste in my mouth from the Ravens. We went like 50, like we won one, one, one game. We lost one game in the playoffs at home. We had home field advantage. I mean, not home field advantage, but we had the home game. And uh, Justin Tucker hits like a 58-yard Of course he goal. does. Yeah, like to like to win the game. And I was just like, yeah, I hate these guys. <laughs> and then, and then uh, the year I got hurt, uh, we were on a we was on a roll and like before the game I was like hey if I if I get a turnover I'm doing a Ray Lewis dance when I catch an interception or something and and I end up doing it and then to me it's just like uh, I feel like there is a level of respect but there's also a level of disrespect because how much we don't like each other and it, it really reminds me of Ohio State Michigan um, that type of rivalry. So. <laughs> you were I mean you were you could pull up those two moments really quickly when I was yeah. mentioning that you of course also have the Ryan Chazier uh, f fund for spinal rehab uh, that we you know I'm sure you're working on something with that anything you want to plug about that before we let you go? Oh yeah, so the Ryan Shazier Fund for Spinal Rehabilitation is a, a fund that it helps individuals with spinal cord injuries. So before I got injured, um, I didn't know really much about spinal cord injuries. If I seen somebody in a wheelchair, I just wished the best for them, but I never really knew how they got there. A lot of people that end up in wheelchairs have spinal cord injuries, and you know the average person can have a spinal cord injury any time of the day. People fall on the stairs, people slip in ice, mm. you know, playing football games, and I started to notice how. Uh, People weren't getting as much care as I was getting, and I just wanted to be able to provide that same care and allow people to get independence again. So um, I started Ryan Chazier Fund to be able to help with that. Ryan Chazier Fund for Spinal Rehab. Uh, we appreciate all of the work you're doing, and I love the podcast, and we need positivity in this world. I'm wearing my, I know it's a rival, but I'm wearing my Joe Burrow Do Good sweatshirt uh, today. Ryan Chazier, check out and download his podcast, Don't Call It a Comeback, and prepare to be inspired. Now, Ryan, what's next on your schedule? I mean, what do you got next? Uh, Oprah? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually about to go on Rich Eisen right now nice. and then uh, go to a few of the, uh, I'm going to NFL uh, Network Studios. And Yay! Just gonna, you know, yeah, talk to them a little bit about, don't call it a comeback, talk a little bit about football. And I'm really excited because, you know, uh, like you said, we just got to bring positivity into the world. And there's a lot of comeback stories every single week. Um, and we, we talk about it every single Thursday. So I'm really excited about talking to everybody about just, how, you know, what we're talking about on the podcast. Yes, you getting into the media as a thing that we love to see. Uh, tell Eisen we say hi, and sorry you're late for that appearance. We appreciate you, Ryan. <laughs> Talk to you soon. All right, see you. Bye. We got to work on this dropping people. <laughs> what, Derek, why we can't just, like, drop people off the face of the earth? We got to say bye. And I'm the worst at saying bye. I'm, you know, who's, who's ever been on the phone with me? Mm -hmm. I'm like, Da, 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 done. Hang up, and everyone's like, wait, what? Uh, uh, uh. But that's what we do to these guests, I feel like. Uh, we'll be back. We've got a lot to get to. Lots of fun. So many guests and more to come. We're doing the playoff picture, and we're getting spicy.